J-15B China's PLA Navy introduced a naval version of the Air Force's J-11B, the J-15 Flying Shark into frontline duty in 2012 on board the carrier Liaoning. However, Chinese military aviation has advanced much since then, and a more capable carrier-based platform with 4 plus generation capabilities is expected to replace this older fighter. This aircraft, codenamed J-15B, will purportedly use more composite materials to create a lighter but stronger airframe. The fighter will resemble the J-11D in many aspects, including having more potent and effective engines, an upgraded AESA radar, and new electronic warfare capabilities. While some sub-variants of the aircraft will be designed to deploy utilizing an electromagnetic catapult rather than a ski jump launch system, a more efficient airframe will allow the aircraft to deploy for longer periods and with heavier armament loads. These launch mechanisms will be included in the PLA's future Type 002 class supercarriers and allow for a larger takeoff weight, which translates to more fuel and ammunition per fighter. J-11D The J-11D, China's response to the American F-15EX and the Russian Su-35, is presently in the late prototype stage and may be the most ambitious fourth-generation fighter yet created. Similar to the Russian Su-35 in terms of payload, usage of composite materials, and three-dimensional thrust vectoring engines, the fighter also has access to Chinese weapons such as the PL-15 for air-to-air -air combat and an active electronically scanned array radar that the Su-35 does not. Such radars not only have greater power but also have greater resistance to jamming and a smaller radar signature. In comparison to its older Russian equivalent, the fighter is anticipated to incorporate more advanced avionics, cockpit displays, and composite materials. Project Azam Project Azam, a joint venture between China and Pakistan, is a replacement for the JF-17 program to produce a lightweight modern fighter at a low price, is expected to compete favorably with all other fifth-generation fighters in terms of operational and acquisition costs and will be marketed largely to third-world customers. Other than the American F-35, the fighter is the only single-engine stealth fighter currently in development. China and Pakistan are now working together on Project Azam, which will eventually replace the JF-17 Thunder. The aircraft will include cutting-edge AESA radars that are more complex and perhaps heavier than those recently added to the 4-plus generation JF-17 Block 3, and it will be compatible with next-generation weapons like the PL-15 and perhaps the PL-20. Despite being primarily intended for export, the Chinese People's Liberation Army Air Force may eventually purchase the jet in small quantities to replace the advanced J-7 variants already in use. This is because the jet's distinctive combination of next-generation technologies and low maintenance and operational costs makes it highly valued. H-20 The H-20 China's first heavy intercontinental bomber will give the PLA a counterpart to the impending B-21 Raider from the U.S. Air Force. It will have cutting-edge next-generation stealth technology, hypersonic standoff weapons, and a powerful sensor suite centered on AESA radars. The deployment of thermonuclear gravity bombs might also put the U.S. mainland within its range. The H-20 is anticipated to be able to function in a tactical role while carrying conventionally armed standoff crews and anti-ship missiles. The H-20 may also be capable of carrying out surveillance missions by utilizing the advantages of its stealth capabilities and sensors. It's anticipated that the H-20 will eventually deploy replacements for many of the advanced munitions that are now being included in upgraded versions of the H-6 bomber. J-20B 
since the Chengdu J 25th generation air superiority fighter entered frontline service in 2017, China's defense industry has continued to incorporate new technologies into it, including new distributed aperture systems for significantly improved situational awareness and homegrown WS 10 engines to replace the Russian origin AL 31 FM 1 turbofans. The WS-15 engines, which supposedly outperform American competitors like the F-35 and the PL-20 hypersonic air-to-air -air missile are two of the most anticipated improvements to the design. The latter will provide the fighter with better flight characteristics, such as greater maneuverability, climb rates, and endurance. Future J-20 variants are likely to be given a new name, possibly the J-20B if the J-10 and J-11 are any indications and will be powered by the WS-15 engine. They will also likely include new armaments, stealth coatings, sensors, avionics, and electronic warfare systems, as well as updated sensors, avionics, and electronic warfare systems. It's also possible that they will make use of new composite materials for a lighter and more durable airframe. Similar to the American F-35, which is also being improved, the J-20 is projected to perform significantly better than the existing 5th generation standard and be regarded as a 5 plus generation or even a 6th generation fighter. JH-20 A strike fighter designed to supersede the capabilities of the aging JH-7, the aircraft will reportedly be based on the airframe of the J-20 heavyweight air superiority fighter. The program is expected to resemble the American F-15E Strike Eagle developed based on the F-15C air superiority fighter and the FB-22, a program canceled due to budgetary constraints which was based on the F-22 Raptor. The fighter is expected to be heavier than the original J-20 carry more fuel and a sensor suite better adapted to the striking ground and naval targets, and have a second seat to accommodate a weapon systems officer. The fighter is expected to retain an air-to-air -air capability and will likely continue to deploy PL-15 missiles, but its primary armament will be guided gravity bombs and cruise missiles. Internal weapons bays are likely to be bigger to accommodate a larger payload and higher diameter munitions. A twin-seat variant of the standard J-20 may also be under development and analog to the American F-22B which was cancelled due to budgetary issues following the long-standing trend in Chinese military aviation to develop twin-seat variants of all major fighter designs. FC-31 or J-31 the FC-31 Stealth Fighter, a medium-weight prototype platform that is anticipated to be certified combat-ready around 2025, is still being developed with new engines and subsystems. Being heavier than the American F-35A but lighter than the F-22 and J-20, the aircraft is the only medium-weight stealth fighter known to have been developed. Whether this aircraft will be introduced into PLA service as a lighter supplement to the J-20, whether a carried-based variant will be created as a lighter complement to the J-15B, or whether it will be offered exclusively for export as a rival to the F-35 is still up in the air. In comparison to the joint project, the Ausum fighter developed by China and Pakistan, the J-31 will be a heavier and more powerful option for export markets. Chinese 6th generation fighter. It is believed that China is focusing on building a 6th generation air superiority fighter to compete with enemies of the next generation, in addition to Russian and American programs like the MiG-41 and Air Dominance Fighter. This platform, which will eventually replace the J-20, has not been given a name, but it is anticipated to fly for the first time by the end of the decade. A next-generation interceptor, perhaps a hypersonic vehicle capable of space travel like the Russian MiG-41, is also likely to be developed. Hypersonic air-to-air -air missiles, artificial intelligence, and a new generation of engines that outperform the WS-15 engines used in the J-20 are among the technology that will be included in the next-generation Chinese fighters. Dark Sword 
The Dark Sword, which was unveiled in June 2018, is rumored to be a sixth-generation artificial intelligence-powered unmanned fighter. The drone is distinctive among those used by the PLA because of its size and special orientation for air-to-air -air warfare. Unmanned aircraft are increasingly being developed for air-to-air -air warfare when they were previously primarily used for air-to-ground operations. Little is known about the program, but it is part of a growing trend. The fighter, which is presently only a very early prototype, will probably make its first flight by the mid to late 2025s.